Shiwamurti Cancer Study is a non-clinical research project looking at the effects of Shiwamurti on cancer and secondary issues that may arise. Participants will receive Shiwamurti healings on a regular basis and provide data through a daily documentation questionnaire. Shiwamurti is a very profound energy medicine that heals a variety of pain and ailments. If you'd like to join our Shiwamurti Cancer Study, please reach out. Hi, Mel. It's good to see you. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I just have some questions about Shiwamurti and the Shiwamurti Cancer Study. And yes. uh, if you shed some light on your experience, it would be wonderful. Sure. So I was diagnosed with uh, stage one breast cancer in January. And I was, uh, Scott had brought um, up the study to me and asked me if I wanted to be a part of it right before um, I was beginning my chemotherapy treatments. And it has been something that I feel has been a tremendous asset to me on my cancer journey. And I feel like it is something that can help anybody that is going through a massive um, traumatic um, disease that, you know, it's helps the body and the mind. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm sure like you never heard of Shiwamurti before you started the study. And did you have any expectations or what did you think you were getting yourself into? I kind of was like, well, what is this? Like, I thought it was a form of Reiki healing. Um, but I wasn't entirely sure what I was getting into because I feel like the, di the differences between Reiki healing and Shiwamurti are very dramatic um, in that one of them you feel just a certain sort of energy, but this you feel it going through you. So I feel... Um, I, it was nothing like what I was expecting. I have no idea what I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> I know, Shiva Murti is like really powerful and strange and but beautiful at the yes. same time. Yes. Now, when you're getting a treatment, like what does it feel like in your body or what sensations are you having? I chose to keep my eyes closed the whole time um, just because I wanted it to be a very meditative um, situation for me. So I never actually knew where you were, where you were standing, um, but I could feel it almost feels like you're pulling the energy out of me, the negative energy. There were some times when it felt so overwhelming, like when somebody takes your breath away, it felt so overwhelmingly beautiful that, you know, I, I just, it, it just felt so good. And then sometimes I would have tangles. Sometimes it would be warm. I would see colors different times. Um, but the, the biggest thing for me is I can feel where you are working on me with my eyes closed. So I felt the energy moving through me every single time. Wow. Yes. When you first came in, you had like some pretty bad sciatica pain and uh, we worked on it. And how was that for you? What happened? So I'm also a runner and I have been suffering from sciatic pain for quite a while, um, especially because I made it a point to run a lot of miles before I started chemotherapy. Um, and when I first saw you, the pain was pretty bad to the point where I was having a problem with driving. And, um, the first time you and I met, you worked on it. And by the end of the session, the pain was bearable by the next few days, it was pretty much gone. And I have continued to run distances that are big distances. And I have not had any sciatic pain since that first session that we had. So, and that was quite a while ago. So. Wow. That's incredible. Yes. And you run big distances. Maybe I, you could talk about like how many miles you run. Yeah. So I do ultra distance running and multi-day military style endurance events. So I cover a lot of miles in one day for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and the second time you came in, you were having digestive issues uh, from the chemotherapy and we worked on that as well. And maybe if you can elaborate on what happened after that. So one of the few side effects that I had from my chemotherapy treatment was nausea and digestive backing up, um, which is very common. And I'm generally a person that doesn't like to take the medications if I can avoid it. And so that was 
um, I think it was either our second or third session where it was becoming a problem for me and you uh, were able to kind of help get things going the correct way and the digestive issues really um, weren't a, a problem for me since our session. Um, it, they were manageable, it was tolerable, and I wasn't, I didn't have to take any pain medications for that. So that was oh, very wonderful. beneficial for me. <laughs> were there any effects uh, that the treatment had on your emotions or anxiety? I do have very, um, very bad depression and anxiety and going through breast cancer was something that didn't help my mental health issues. And then on top of that, I was dealing with my hair coming out. So I had a loss of femininity. So I was dealing with a number of mental health issues. And I remember specifically one day when you and I had met, um, my hair had just started falling out and I was really depressed about it. And I remember during the healing, I kept seeing the color purple and it was just so vibrant and so bright. And it was something that really stuck with me that I feel like it empowered me a little bit because I feel like something was happening inside of me. And I, I just, I felt it, it felt like a vibrant color and it really kind of brought that vibrancy out outward for me. So yeah. oh, that's beautiful. I love that. <laughs> And the interesting thing happened when we were working on it, the energy was like flowing through like this whole chest and throat area. And um, we were like, what is, what is, why is the energy like focusing there? What's happening? And then you had a revelation with your mom. <laughs> Maybe you could talk about that a little bit. So I, we were working on my fingernails. Yes. And every time you were working on my fingernails, you kept saying it keeps wanting to come up to your chest. And during that time, I had no idea why. And then I came home and I was telling my mother about how this ha kept happening. And she told me, well, of course, over the weekend, I had done an extreme endurance event where I overheated and I had extreme dehydration, which caused a severe attack of heartburn to the point where I suffered major trauma and was, I almost ended up going to the hospital. So it kind of it was very strange that it kept going up there at the time, but then afterwards it made perfect sense because of how much pain I was in the prior weekend. And so, yes. And also in between sessions, did you have any experiences? Yes. So I feel like having a session with you had calmed my mind down tremendously. Um, I was able to approach things differently because I wasn't filled with stress and anxiety and pain. I was, I felt really um, controlled. I felt like the Shiwa Murti really helped me control and manage the pain and my healing. So I was able to focus on just getting better instead of my fingernails or my heartburn or my, my heartburn or my radiation or my digestive issues. It really kind of lifted Every time I left there, I felt the pressure was lifted off of me and I feel like it deflated the balloon of fear that I would have had. Um, again, I feel like this is just part of the arsenal that I have for my, for my cancer toolbox. Well, I just want to say thank you for participating in this study because, you know, nobody knows about Shiva Murti yet. It's so brand new. So I like really appreciate your courage to just dive in and have this experience and and let me work on you and it's been a beautiful experience for me. I can honestly say that it's been something that has definitely changed my my journey and I feel like it's been such a positive force for me so I'm very grateful to have been a part of the study definitely. <laughs>